All right, you've been looking for a way to make your footage just a little more epic. All right, let's take a look here at the Rabe 360 spinner. Okay, so today I'm kind of really excited to take a look at this. This is the Rabe 360 spinner. And as you can see, it spins in a 360 degree angle. Now, this is a really, really cool device that I've started using more and more on a lot of my product and commercial shoots. And I thought it was something that I really wanted to share with you because it's something that if you're looking at a way to kind of up or change or freshen up your kind of product shots, this could be something that could really make a difference. Now, full disclosure, Rob A did send me a unit to review, but once again, like everything else, I am not being paid for this. They don't get to see anything before I publish it. They just wanted me to give them their honest thoughts and opinions, and that's what I wanna do. And the thing that I really like about this Rob A is what I kind of think separates this 360 unit from what I think there's a lot of other options out there. You have turntables, you also have a lot of tabletop 360 units, but this thing has some very cool features that really sets it apart from the other kind of 360 spinning type things if you're looking for that type of shot. Now, the first thing you really need to know about this 360 spinner when you get it is you are going to have to assemble it. Now, luckily it is very, very easy to assemble. It only took me about 30 minutes to get the whole thing together and it pretty much is rock solid when it's got really good construction. And the best thing I love is the Gear that turns this thing is just incredibly, incredibly buttery smooth once you get it balanced. I'm gonna talk about balancing that and the importance of it, but once you go, I mean, look at that. It just spins so naturally, so smoothly, and just keeps going. It's got a lot of really, the bearings in here, whatever they have in there, just really made it very, very suited for this type of 360 work. And I think if you're considering a 360 spinner, the first question you're gonna ask yourself is why even consider a 360 spinner in the first place. I mean, why not just go for a classic turntable? It's a little bit easier, it's smaller, takes up less space. And I think really the first and most important reason is if you're doing any kind of product capture is the fact that when you have a product like this, I'm gonna bring this out here just to take a look at it. I can take this little tripod here and as you notice, when I spin around it, it doesn't move, the camera moves. Versus the classic turntable, the camera is stationary and the product moves. This makes a gigantic difference in what your light does on the product. In this situation, I can have the light always be consistent and I can move the camera. This gets great, this is great for product reveals. It's also great for just adding a level of dynamicism that I think turntable product stuff sometimes is missing. The other thing that it does is as you notice, if you spin around, you can see the room that you're in. This is really, really good if you wanna be in a situation where let's say you're in a restaurant and you have a plate on here. You wanna maybe see the whole restaurant as part of the texture in the background of the shot. This kind of 360 spinner allows you to incorporate that type of visual storytelling deeper into the product you're doing. In addition to that, if you wanna have something where the background never changes, well, that's easy too. They actually make an extension kit that allows you to build a frame where you can keep the background that spins in time. So you have all of those options. So as you can see, this is just an outlet to let you really unleash your creativity in a lot of different ways. But that is not the only thing about this Rabe that I think helps sets it apart from even other 360 spinners. The big thing is this. This thing is heavy duty. This little centerpiece right here can take 330 pounds of weight on it. And what that means is you're not confined to shooting just products. You can put people on top of this thing and spin around that. Now, be careful when you're putting a people on there. I mean, this is particle board, so you need to make sure the people are centered. But that being said, you can take a full-size person and get some really fun and dynamic kind of bayhem type shots that would traditionally cost you a whole lot of money putting down circular tracks and getting it on a dolly. So this thing really, really allows that sort of fun little pops to get and you can do it and then take off one arm and put it back and you're back to doing tabletop video. So the ability to go from these small kind of macro shots all the way up to full person shots gives you so much flexibility. And I think that is really the thing that separates this Raw Bay from all the 360 spinners that I've been playing with. And I like having that option. Now I do wanna talk about setting this thing up because if you're interested in this, it does have a couple of things that are gonna be important for you to know. The first thing is this thing is a product, a classic example of physics at work. And what that really means is it all comes down to balance. Now, if you can see this end of it, it actually has a holder that you can put weights on. Now I have found traditionally that if I take like a ball head and put my Canon R5C or something of that size on there, I can take just a five pound weight, I can slip it right on here, 
and boom, it does that. And what that does is that counterweight allows you to get a very, very buttery smooth operation. The bearings in this thing are really, really nice and it gives you a really, really nice smooth movement. Now, another thing about that, it's just not weight, it's also placement. You can shift these things forward and backward based on some hex screws. And you know, this arm here contributes to the balance. So what you can do is they have an arm here and you can either lower it or bring it back out. So you can see, depending on where your camera is, you can get different heights, which is very helpful. And it also will change your balance. So you wanna take those factors into consideration when you're looking at it. But as you can see, it's a pretty smooth, pretty straightforward kind of situation. And just in case you're wondering, I'll pop this out. I do have a ball head on here right now. But as you can see on the top, they just have a 3-8 screw right here that you can put anything on there. Any 3-8 mount is going to go on there and you're gonna be good to go. Now, once you get this thing balanced, it basically comes down to operation. And really, there's not a whole lot to it as far as operation. I mean, it spins and it spins really smoothly. As long as you get the balance, you're gonna be able to go really well. And what I love is you can see, I can just let this thing go and it just goes. It just goes, oh, it hit me there. But I'm gonna just kind of spin this just to make this point here. And you can see this thing will just keep spinning and you can get several rotations once you balance it because the bearings in there are so smooth. So it's gonna be really, really helpful for product retarding. That's also really good if you're going high frame weight product stuff because you can speed ramp and do like two or three rotations and then maybe come in slow. So it just adds a nice little bit of creativity in there. So you can see this thing is really, really nice. And I don't have it quite balanced because I don't have my camera here on the other end. You saw how many rules I was able to get out of that. The other nice thing about this is because it's designed to go outside and get people on it, it actually has feet here that are adjustable. So you can adjust these. If you're on uneven ground, you can kind of dial in the feet and up and down to get exactly where you need to kind of stabilize the system as much as possible. And then really the last thing you need to know about operation is where you're going to put the camera height. And as you can see, it's pretty simple. There is a wing net over here. I can simply take it and get any kind of height I want. Once I figure out the height that I want to get for that, I can lock it in and it's pretty straightforward. And then if I wanted to, for whatever reason, say actually physically bring this whole unit closer or bring the weight closer or farther away for the uh, counterweight issue, it, you can basically take a hex screw and there are three hex screws right here. You can loosen it and move it forward and backwards. So it's got a pretty simple operation. There's not a whole lot to it. I think most of you out there will be able to pick this up and figure out how to use it in just a minute or two. The one last thing you need to understand about the operation of this too is that where your objects are placed on this is going to be very important. You wanna make sure that you place your thing as dead center as possible. Now I just went ahead and measured out a little mark here right in the center it with some tape and I know where it's always gonna be, but that's something you really wanna make sure when you're setting this up that you have a good center point. And you also want your camera lined up in a straight line, essentially in a straight line between here and the end of the bolt here, just to make sure that all of your parallax is going to be at its optimum conditions. Now the 360 spinner is pretty straightforward, but it does come with an extension kit that I do strongly recommend if you wanna unlock everything you can creatively with this. The extension kit comes with two things. One, it comes with a longer arm that allows you to get those human people size shots. And the other thing it comes with is this. This is a background board that allows you to put different backgrounds and it will sit there and rotate freely with your device. I'm gonna put this on just to kind of show you how it works. You literally slip this right here on the counterweight section and then you just take a hex screw. I'm gonna put that in there just so you can see it. And now that you have that, this thing will rotate freely with your piece. And you can now take any two clamps right here and then clamp any specific type of paper that you want. So the good news about this is once you put that background on there, that background will now rotate so you can have a solid background. So you get a lot of freedom. If you wanna change it out for some reason, you can just literally take these clamps, you know, I just put them on there, put some paper on there, and in seconds, you can change this out. I really, really appreciated how fast it was to change different colors, to go to black, to go to a bright color, it doesn't matter. You can change it very quickly. So with this system in place, you can get product shots, but the other thing I liked about it was I could get like three or four different colors in just a couple of minutes. 
You know, literally it takes only a few seconds to change it. So I could put a product on there and I could rotate through three or four boards very, very quickly. The other thing that this frame does that I think is really nice is it allows you to, you can hook up lights to the back of them and actually have backlights here if you want additional backlights to then rotate and spin with your light. It's kind of a cool effect, adds a really, really nice touch to things. And really the other part of this extension kit that I do want to talk about a little bit more is that arm. And I really think one of the things about that, if you're in a situation where you have a shot that you need just to really add that extra bit of drama and feel, this is a great option because you can technically spin around people with a gimbal. You can absolutely do that, but it's a different look and feel than you get from this kind of super smooth mechanical look of a spinner. It's just a very, very different look. This is just so controlled that it gives a kind of a nice polished look that I think will really wow your clients for the shots. It's not something you're gonna use on every shot, obviously, but if you have a music video, if you have a commercial job like this, this is one of those things, or even a dramatic moment in a film, this is just one of those things that's gonna add that little pop of professionalism to the work that you're turning in. In addition to this, they also make an LED stand that you can actually put on here. And if you have like an LED TV, you can actually mount it on there to get a rotating LED backdrop. Um, I think that's a great idea. I don't know how practical it is with the, because it's a 360 spinner and cables might get in the way. But if you have a battery or V-mount operated uh, monitor that's big enough, that may be a really, really cool option for you as well. Okay, now whenever I do review a product, I always like to bring out any cons or potential drawbacks that you might need to be aware of because it's something I'd like to know when I'm thinking about products too. Now, really I think the one thing that I noticed about this, I don't know if it's a drawback, but it's just something to be aware of, is that this thing is really designed to be a studio rig. This is not a run and gun type of thing. You're not gonna really wanna just throw it in your car and randomly get some 360 spinner shots. This is something that requires some thought to get in your car. And that kind of makes sense. I mean, I think if you're using a 360 spinner by default, it's kind of already going to be a well thought out thing that you know you're gonna to have to plan for in advance. But just be aware, this is something, it's going to take up space and a studio is gonna be fantastic for you. You can go outside and do it. Just know you gotta get it set up. And I really think that brings me to the other thing about it, which is while you can control the height of this very, very easily here with this wing nut, the other arms, if you wanna put on the extension arm, if you wanna attach the board, you're going to need to have hex screws with you. And if you don't have one, you really can't do anything with it. So unfortunately, the hex that come with this, they do come, they are great, they work perfect, but they don't attach anywhere natively that I could find to this spinner. Now what I did to fix it is I just made a little hack. I just took some magnets and some Velcro and boom, I attached that there and now I have them here on the arm. It stays when I'm spinning and I always have my hex screws with you. But you're always going to need to have a hex if you wanna switch out an arm or change any positions like that or tighten your boards. So just be aware of that. It's not something that's got you know tighteners that are just, you can hand tighten. That makes a lot of sense because it is a spinner so there is centrifugal force but it is something you should absolutely be aware of. And really the only other thing I would say about this that I would love to see in maybe a future version would be, I love how you can mount lights here to this background board. It is very easy to mount uh, power, you know, magic arms here to the arms, but it would have been cool if there was like maybe a three eighths or quarter inch screw point, just to have you a little more flexibility and options if you wanted to do some peripherals and lights to the system. But all in all, this is just a really, really nice, Spinner, I mean, this does exactly what you want a spinner to do. It spins in a 360 degree and it does it very, very smoothly and very nicely. And the fact that you have the flexibility to do both small product stuff and people shots just really makes this an absolute home run bang for my buck. I really haven't come across any other spinner that I think gives you this much flexibility and creative potential as this. So if you find yourself in a situation where you want to up your creative game for product and other stuff like that, I think this 360 spinner is something I would absolutely recommend. I know I've been using it a lot more now on sets and I just love all the options that it gives me. Anyway, guys, I'd love to hear what you have to say with this. Let me know in the comment down below. Yeah, go there, keep on shooting, and uh, yeah, I'll talk to you soon.